Swole Benji here. So, another PvP video for you guys. This time, Faction Flagged against Limhurst and Martlock. I think there's a Thetford guy in here too somewhere. But, essentially, this is a Deathgiver's build. I've made a YouTube video on what the build is. You can check it out on my channel. But, essentially, it's Deathgiver's with Assassin chest piece, you know, the one that makes you invisible, uh, Hellion shoes, and Stalker helmet. Uh, I think I'm using a Thetford cape in this one. So yeah, it's just, a, it's just a fun little PvP video where I just go around as a faction flagged player and down other faction flagged people in the yellow zone. Now, the, uh, the faction points earnings per hour wasn't that much. It's only like 140,000 in silver if you were to sell the hearts, so it's not very much, it's not really that profitable, but hey, when you're like me, and I've got like two months until I resubscribe to the game since the mount rewards kind of suck, and I have a video where I maxed Death Givers spec, I am maxed Death Givers spec in this, but I'm not max spec in any of the other daggers, so it, I did the math, and if I was in full maximum spec daggers, I would do like one to two hundred more damage with a full combo, it's not really that much. I like how players think that they can run into the little faction outpost and that they're safe. And I also like how uh, some people are just asleep at the wheel. <laughs> this guy's just fishing. Just fishing and, uh, <laughs> oh no, I'm being attacked. The cool, thing, the cool thing about Death Givers is you can pretty much just stall out the fight until you have three stacks and then use your E. Like, this guy is really tanky. He's got the Aegis shield. Pre-nerf, by the way. Pre-nerf shield. Uh, you know, and he's, uh, he's rocking, like, what, tier 7s? I, I forget exactly what he's wearing, but he is a thick and tanky plate boy, and he, his health just melts. Now, you could use any other helmet, but I really like the, the Stalker Hood because it shreds armor and gives you more damage. I like the Hellion Shoes because it lets me chase people on mounts. Now, one thing I encountered, and this guy is the only exception, is that the W ability throwing blades, it doesn't seem to hurt mounted players. I don't get it. There are clips later in the video that I, I use I use throwing blades, which is supposed to shotgun players, right? Shotgunning being it hits them three times. That's why I have it and not chain slash. And it, it just didn't seem to do any damage at all, like to mounted players. I don't I don't really get why. But uh this guy again asleep at the wheel. <laughs> And also, I, can't, I whiffed a bunch of, of throwing blades, so eventually I do switch to Chain Slash. So if you're, if you're wanting to do this, you should use Chain Slash because it's, it's a big hit up front. The sooner you dismount them or the sooner you get them to half HP, is, that's the faster that you can kill them. This poor guy, see like he got shotgun there, he got hit three times by the throwing blades. <laughs> Freaking fisherman like he's like oh no there's a guy flagged up help me <laughs> he actually gets on the mount but it's too late bro it's too late man <laughs> this uh this guy it's not shown in the clip um he does get his revenge with like 10 people later though um but yeah you see their faction defense 2000 like 600 something it's 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 decent it's fun it's it's hard to say it's hard to say this because uh you know Albion sucks but this is something that's fun to do in the game, and uh, <laughs> it, it's fun to just dunk on people when you're, in, like, I'm in full E3. Like, that's why I have so much health and why I'm doing so much damage. And this build is really hard to fight if, if your opponents are in 8.3 also. Like, I'm very maneuverable, I can do lots of damage, so I don't fear other 8.3 players. I kind of, I got bored. I got bored of beating up these newbies and and I, I did fight some highly geared people I think some seven threes there was some eight threes most eight threes will start a fight with me and then they see my gear and they just kind of back off with like it's like a mutual respect thing it's like you know I don't really want to pay the hundred thousand uh, silver repair fee but this build just deletes people man <laughs> I accidentally mounted up there so oops Oopsies. It doesn't matter. The auto attacks on this are really good. Like, your autos just... They're just pumping. <laughs> and, uh, so, interesting thing. Even, like... Okay, so I'm, like, literally right outside of Limhurst, right? And, uh, if you attack the little fortresses, even though they're not capturable because I'm way too deep, it'll still alert the whole zone that they're under attack. So everyone comes running. But another thing, too, is that, uh... If you actually die while faction flagged, not die, but get downed because it's a yellow zone. If you get downed, 
and you're too deep into the enemy faction, you respawn outside the border, but you're also unflagged. Which means I have to ride into Limhurst, uh, fast travel back to Bridgewatch to reflag. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of bots. Like this guy is like, I'll save you, Fisher bro. <laughs> and another cool thing too is if you actually do catch an AFK, they will res because they're faction flagged. Uh, they will respawn at the nearest outpost, and you can just go and kill them over and over and over. And uh, it, it's it's a it's a decent way to get faction points. It's not the best. It's not better than actually capturing outposts. But if you if you just want to have some fun and gank people, then it's a decent way to do your faction daily. Um, I would get way more if I had premium active. I don't have premium active uh, because I'm waiting two months, um, like July, August, or I'm, or June, July. I think it's June, July are the two good mounts. It's the Ghost Boar and um, I forget what the other one is. But also in July is the anniversary of the game, so that's going to be Fame Week. There's a Fame Week in there somewhere. So you want to you want to compound your uh, you want one premium to be three and yeah I could afford like ten premiums at this point I have enough gold and I have enough backed up silver and items but I don't I, I gotta play other games man I can't keep playing this game uh, but yeah like you, you start attacking someone someone comes in to save them and then they're the victim and then the guy was just AFK the whole time so you just auto attack his mount down oh and by the way this build. With max spec 8.3, um, just max spec and, and like I said, the death giver is not in, not in the full dagger tree. I've got like 20 and one handed daggers and that's really about it. Uh, you can dismount tier 3 oxes. I, if I do full combo with chain slash, I can, I can knock someone off of an ox. But not a tier 4 or 5. I can get really close with tier 4. So, uh, but with max spec in, in the full dagger tree, you can definitely dismount a tier 4. This guy is just chopping wood. He's like, oh no, I'm under attack. I don't think that was a bot. I think he was just asleep at the wheel. But this guy, though, that's fucking loot. He keeps trying to skin, and then he and then he sprints off. I don't know. That that one's a little sus. <laughs> now this guy was chasing a bridge watch guy on an ox, and then I come along, and then this bridge watch guy gets brave. So it's kind of a two on one. You know, I don't like to show the gang vid vids. You know, that wasn't intended, but I pretty much did all the damage. So it's whatever, man. Uh, this guy, he dismount, he ran past me and dismounted to fight, and he he was like, "Wow, GG!" Like afterwards, so uh, <laughs> he might switch out off of claws to to death givers, man. I like death givers. They're they're probably one of the more fun ways to play like like a PVP fight because I don't know, it just feels good. It's like playing uh, Ling Zhao Yu and Tekken. It's like uh, I don't know, playing something tricky or or technical. It's not just smash button. Or left click to auto attack, you know. So <laughs> I don't I don't know if you guys like these types of PvP videos, but I know everyone's always asking me, "Why don't you do some PvP videos?" And I don't know if this is what they had in mind, because they probably just want me to go to like Red Tree Enclave and to fucking just run around there and get like 30 people. Oh yeah, this guy's like, "Hey, I know you. I watch you." And then I'm just like, "Kill a little." I'm sorry, bro, man. Hey, if you watch my videos, why aren't you with Bridge Watch, bro? Uh, here on the Swole Binge channel, we are the Chad Watch. We, we, we play on the Chad Watch Watch faction. We're not with the Martlocks. We don't bend the knee to Arch. We don't bend the knee to Guilds. We are our own Guilds. They, look, at, I, I like these little two v ones, man. Um, a lot of Sword players that I encounter. You can tell that they don't watch E Court because, like, they don't realize that they can stack their Q buff to run the fuck away. Well, that's the end of the video. As always, be a bro and stay swell. Make sure you return your shopping carts. I'll see you in the next one.